and the ratio is almost one out of every 40 children who applies gets selected. The selection is need based. Parents come to us and they explain uh, you know why they want to get their child in and they give us the full case history which I take down and in December there is an interview where we have a committee, a selection committee for children. We look for uh, first financial and uh, then circumstances like you know whether they have proper homes and on the basis of that and somebody going to their homes and inspecting the homes. On that basis, they pick out the most needy. My name is Solomon Abraham Rickson. The Rickson's, they are two families uh, of two children, but they all stay together in the one, what you say, flat, whatever you can call, if you can call it a flat. Come, come, come. Basically, they're living in two rooms because the third room uh, is unlivable because the ceiling is caved in and uh, they're not allowed to repair it because of the landlord. He is not allowing them. We are very happy that he is going to school because we are having so much problem and the living is very hard for us. He's going to proper school. And there is so many people there, teachers, principal, matron who are taking care of, guiding them. We we'll teach them how to, what it is, discipline, how to study. to the school in, in February as new admissions and uh, are catered for right throughout the year for nine months till they come home in December. Kalimpong is a very beautiful place. It's not polluted or something like the plains. It's like you can smell the air, fresh air. <laughs> it's very nice and there's not so many people so it's not much populated also. This is an unusual school in many senses of the word because we have children here who begin at possibly two and a half or even younger and go right up to the other end of the spectrum and maybe 20 plus. And some of these children who are as old as say six or seven years old have had no previous schooling. Children here come from very, very different backgrounds. Dr. Graham's homes is really a level playing field. Once they are here, they are Grahamites and they all belong to us, regardless of where they come from or when they started school. When you think about the experience of the school, it just brings a smile on your face. Like it's, do, it's like so much you learn, starting from manners to enjoyment to games to activities, and also studies. Like it's it's an all-round institution. Like and especially for a child who comes in like a child, like a baby, you have everything taught here. So you basically feel this is your home. So what enjoyment you have in your home? That's your experience you enjoy in this school itself. My time in the homes was very good. I mean, you have so many experiences. Different people from different places coming together, we become friends. <laughs> when I was eight months, uh, my dad expired and uh, my mom was alone with my twin brother and my elder sister. And we were very malnourished and very small, eight months we were. So uh, 
the principal said send them in. I remember Lusking was lots of fun. Everything was nice, better than like. It was always happiness only. I don't remember any time being sad in Lusking. Always playing and having nice things to eat and you know when you're small you uh, crave all these things you no know, like some good food and you get enough sleep and so on you do not yesterday you were wearing shirt Uncle is a title given, you know, it's a tradition. Like whoever joins as a house parent, it's not known as house parent, but they call like uncle and auntie. It's what we do is we, you know, we really have to take care of them. If they fall down in school, it means we have to go there and see exactly what's happened to them. And when they come back, take care of, give them a bath and all that. When Daddy Graham came, he was from the Presbyterian background. So when he came in, he started a church because his first mission was to preach the gospel. So when he came in uh, to Kalimpong and the doers and these other areas, he saw the need to preach the gospel as well as bring education to the children. So uh, I suppose Daddy Graham decided that he needed a church as well where the children could worship, the staff could worship, in fact this whole community could worship. When I look back and see the challenge that Daddy Graham took, is taking a child off the streets and giving them an education. It's a big, big challenge because you never know what you're going to expect. And that's where the faith of Daddy Graham has come in. The faith of people abroad have come in who, have, who are willing to sponsor these children and give them an education, a Christian education. When they leave, they leave with an identity, an identity of this place. And what better place? This is not a, a, an anonymous sponsorship. This is where the children know who their sponsors are. They write, they speak, they interact. And I know that sponsors come and visit the children. They take the children out, they talk to the children. I've known cases where the boys and girls visit the sponsors back in the UK and so this is like family. We, we feel personal with them because they share, us, they share with us everything and we from here we write to them about our school, our examinations. We have a close relationship because when he comes to uh, for some work purpose in India he comes to see me. I write a lot. He writes also. He sends me parcels. His his sister-in-law sends me parcels. They do for us so much, in any small way they do for us. We are aware that they do, they work for us and they save us for, for our education. I finished my 12 in 2009 and I came to Kolkata to study. My sponsor sponsors me uh, even now for my graduation. If I didn't have to, have to get a, a sponsorship for graduation, I would have most probably not graduated. I want to go into the teaching line. I'll be giving my final exam in April. I'll get the certificate in July. So after that, I'll be a graduate. The need is so great. It's so heartbreaking when we turn children away. So if we have more people who would sponsor these children whom we are turning away because they're on, we have no money, then it's wonderful if we could take everybody who applies in. That would be ideal. Every child in school, every child with a sponsor. Then truly we will be fulfilling the dream of Dr. Graham. If I didn't have a place in the homes or a sponsorship, I would be homeless.